Vero Beach homeowners on, uh, I don't know why this is so I complicated. Home sellers in 32963. Da, 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 da. 32963 homeowners, your pricing strategy matters. You don't want to miss out on this video. Hi, my name is Scott Reynolds. I'm the team leader of the Reynolds team here in Vero Beach at Compass. And I'm very excited to talk about the October market report for the, the Barrier Island, also known as 32963, our cherished seaside town. I'm gonna, like I usually do, break this up in the single family home and condos so that way the numbers don't get smurged and polluted. So let's just jump right into it. On the single family homes, and this is looking back in the month of September, and we're gonna compare September to the last September. There, The inventory currently is at about 159, which is 14% on the single family homes up. And then on pending sales, it was a 66% increase. So 25 homes went under contract, which was a big pickup from the same time last year. And on closed, closed sales, we are up 33% from the same time last year. So that's really, really good news. That was 20 single family homes that closed. I keep talking about this and I still will. The original list price to sell price ratio is way off the national trends. And it's just a pricing strategy that is done, um, in my opinion, incorrectly at the very beginning. So right now, from the original list price to sell price, our, our the single family homes was at 83%. So that just means that for the most part, the sellers started off, the owners started off at the wrong price, which caught, creates uh, confusion in the buyer market, it creates the home to be stale, and you really lose the, what I call the fear of loss in the buyer's minds. Um, and then one last thing with it is you inadvertently help sell other people's home. What do I mean by that? When your home is priced at 1.7 and it ends up selling for 1.45, the homes that were priced at 1.5 get all the attention because the buyers won't go see necessarily the 1.7. They, they use it as negotiations and, and you inadvertently help sell someone else's home. So the pricing strategy is super, super important. Um, really pushing your realtor on showing you how they plan on getting that price. Um, and, and really taking a look at that because you are inadvertently leaving money on the table. I know it sounds weird, but the, the terms and the closing time period and at the end of the day, the net price you end up netting, it almost always is less when it has that kind of uh, delta. So um, 83%, that's a, that's a lot. And the average days on market for the closed sales was 184 days, um, which if priced appropriately should be right around 90, 70 to 90 days uh, from launching to closing. Um, and again, netting you more money. So the next piece is the, um, um, the sales price that was the median sales price was 930, which was just a little bit lower. And that's just the, the averages. Uh, one reason or another, a lot of the homes underneath a million dollars sold rather than a lot of the one to two or two to three. So it's just the law of averages um, on that one. The months of inventory based on pending sales for single family is about six months of inventory if another home doesn't come on, on the market. Um, so that's about the, the time it would take to, to exhaust the inventory. So that's a, that puts us in a slight buyer's market. Um, it's really close to balanced. So three to six months is uh, balanced in our market. Six months and above starts sliding into a buyer advantage. So just wanted to share that. Overall on the single family homes, we're seeing really good strength. Uh, it's just the days on market's taken a lot longer and that can be corrected with the proper marketing plan and um, uh, marketing strategy and pricing strategy. The condo market, as everybody knows, they, they, it's been going through some adjustments. I do see some really good positive stuff coming on the uh, 
uh, here in the future on it. Um, I think a lot of the condos have made the necessary adjustments to uh, balance out their budgets and they're going through all the processes. So that is balancing out. The inventory did increase 90% from the same time last year. So that's uh, there's 139 condos on the market. Um, and we had 10, 10 sales, which is a down 28% from the same time last year. And our pendings is up. That's the part that's positive. Pendings are up 21%. As we get closer to season, we'll probably start seeing those uh, the condo market getting a lot more attractive and start seeing. I, I see our Vero Beach um, condo market being corrected this season. So we'll probably be in a really good place. The list price, the original list price, the sell price ratio is at 90%. And the days on market for the condos was 142 days. Um, and then the average sales price that closed uh, was $710,000, which is I, th I thought was pretty good. And then uh, months of inventory were at 8.2 months. And that is, you know, the pending sales did kick up. We just need to get through some of the inventory that's on the market. And um, so I, I really, I think in the coming months, we're gonna see the condo market looking really good in, in Vero Beach. So I couldn't let this video go. And I hate that I started at the, I saying this at the end. Um, as I'm filming this, um, it is uh, mid, mid uh, October. And we just got through a horrific uh, tornado uh, that went through the, uh, um, at least the central island. And I would love if you guys would make a comment below. Um, is your prediction of the, the storms that we had, does that have a negative effect, a positive effect, or no effect? I have my opinion. I would love to hear yours. So put your comments in the bottom, and I'm going to interact with you and tell you why, um, how I feel as well and, and the data behind it. But I'd love to hear just your opinion. Um, just uh, comment in the comments below and we may even have a drawing um, if, when we can um, see, see what was the best outcome. So again, my name is Scott Reynolds. If you're thinking about selling your home, um, don't hesitate to reach out. All of my information is below. I'd love to talk to you and get a solid marketing, pricing, strategy together and uh, thank you so much.